I have spent four hours of this morning trying to figure out whether I should go to the doctor or not. And really, the decision is always easy for me. I'm like, no, I'm not going because usually I cannot afford it. And by cannot afford it is that my health insurance is like so basic that it pretty much doesn't cover very much. And I had to go to the doctor last year and a visit that should have been, you know, like really simple, nothing really complex. Um, it ended up costing a few hundred bucks. At least I was able to set myself up in a payment plan. So I was able to just in nine months pay that off. But I just want to mention something that some people have told me, which is, oh, maybe you need to get a full-time job. And I'm like, okay, a full-time job. My mom has a full-time job. She's actually affiliated with a medical center. So just because she is full-time and happens to work for the medicine industry, in a sense, doesn't mean that she herself gets free stuff or gets covered well, because you guys remember the surgery that she had? Well, that's a few thousand dollars that need to go into this thing. So she herself has this deductible that she's taking care of. So imagine me having my own deductible to take care of. It has nothing to do with what kind of position I have, what kind of coverage my job can give me as a result or whatever. Going to the doctor is expensive for anybody, period. Like, that's the point of this. It's either you have the money or you don't have the money. I happen to be in the classification of folks where I don't have the money, just so you know. But it's still annoying because I feel like if I don't feel well, I should be able to just go get help and not have to think about it, not worry about it, feel better and everything. But I find myself in this situation where I'm like, how do I really feel? Am I really feeling affected by this? Am I really weak by this? Am I really, do I have a fever, this and that? And then my concern right now is I apparently got bit by something. And uh, it's a very unusual thing that's happening. I've never had it happen before to where where the bite is, it started off as two little red spots. And then within a day or a day or two, it became this massive circle that it really doesn't itch or hurt or anything. But sometimes my clothes may rub against it. Or if I lean against something, I remember that it's there. And, uh, you know, I feel a little bit of it. And I'm like... This is so unusual because of how big it's grown and how weird it looks. And it's kind of strange, the kind of symmetry that it has. It's like, it's like a perfect circle. So of course, naturally, since I have a lot of information available in my hands, I go online and I try to find out what it is. And I'm like, yeah, I'm displaying some of those symptoms, which typically show up after any kind of bug bite, really. But... Since it's so unusual, I was really deciding last night, before I went to bed, I gave it another look and I said, you know what, I'm going to just roll with it. I'm going to go to the doctor just in case it's something that has the potential of becoming something bad. And here I am, I was getting ready and I decided I'm not going because I just don't want to go through that stress again of being in the clinic and just wondering how much is this going to cost me. Because last year when I went, within three weeks or so, I started getting all of these letters from my insurance and also the medical center, of course. And it was just overwhelming and stressful. So I felt like I got more sick from the BS that I was getting in the mail than from the ailment itself. So after that, I said, you know what, if I get something, just let, let, let me go, like, if it's going to claim my life, just let it because because I just refuse to be a part of this business, you know, to where I have to stress out over this. Maybe it's something petty. I guess I'll find out in a few months if I made the right choice or not. But I just want to be peaceful however I can. Oftentimes when you research something 
and it displays old symptoms, it doesn't mean that that's exactly what's happening. Could very well be, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Yeah, I have more of the symptoms than not at times, but there's also some stuff that's happening to me that is totally unrelated to this bite. Like before I had the bite, I've been having these weird headaches going on. I'm also in my days, which means that um, that on its own brings its own set of symptoms. So I cannot even accurately diagnose myself. And uh, the weather is also cold, so I cannot really tell if my shivers are internal from this bite or if it's weather related because I'm a person who gets cold very easily in my feet, in my hands. So I cannot even tell if the when I'm in a situation like that, you might say, well, dummy, that's why you need to go to the doctor. But like I said, no, I'm going to try all of the home remedies that I can and I know of. I'm just going to stay here and chill and give myself a few weeks. I haven't been able to sleep. Now, you guys know that I had a sour experience a couple of nights ago, and my issues with sleeping happened to have started during that night. And around that time is also when I noticed the bite. So what's robbing my sleep? The issues or this thing? So it's hard to tell. And I just, I know that I could go to the clinic and they'll at least give me that peace of mind, I guess. But it's at the cost of something. Like, I'm going to be worried about the future medical bill that I have on me. So for now, I'm just going to hang on tight, go about my day like normal. I feel more fine than not and just roll with it. But I just wanted to put this out there because it happens to be something that I had on my clipboard too, why I don't go to the doctor. So this is not really the kind of video I was going to make, but it helps address some of it. And honestly, I said the main thing, which is it just costs too much, at least in this country. The little bit of progress that I make with my money, I don't want to send to this thing, even though it's claiming to help keep me alive. But you know, if in the future my situation becomes stable enough to where I can afford to go to the doctor regularly, I, I'll go. But for right now, I don't want that kind of stress. Yeah, guys, I just needed to vent and put this out there because I've been flipping and turning on it all morning. I took a shower with the intention of going. I thought that my car also had a recall. I called the dealership because I'm like, I don't want to drive up there like a dumbass. And it turns out that I don't, but I'll still call again and check mom's vehicle because the letter that we received about a possible recall is not very clear either it, it's just been okay i can have days in which everything is fine everything is chill and i'm like wow i'm finally getting to the point in life when everything is okay but then when crap happens it's everything happens at the same time and it's not even big stuff but those little things combine that's what overwhelms you and as a person who normally doesn't handle things well, like making decisions or, you know, like it just makes me extra anxious. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to put this out there. The fact that I finally vent this, I cannot really feel the relief. So I'm incredibly hungry. I haven't eaten. It's already um, past 11. So my morning is pretty much thrown away. So once again but anyways just to give you an example of just the little things in life that happened to me and why i tend to feel a certain type of way but anyway all right guys thanks so much for tuning in i'll keep you posted and i will see you soon